Hey Royalty, hey Empress, hey Empresses, how are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First thing first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray y'all having a beautiful and blessed day. I pray y'all having a beautiful and blessed week. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, and keep you safe all days, always. Let's begin. Angels and ancestors spirit guides of the highest bright light please come down and protect me please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine archangel michael holy spirit please come down and protect me guide me and keep me safe and please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today any negative energy being sent may, may it be returned sender a hundredfold thank you holy spirit okay what does taurus need to know please and thank you Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North. Now, what does Taurus need to know? Taurus, it's time to move on. It's time to move on. And this energy has been around for a minute, too, with y'all. So it's something about, I thought, I thought I saw another card that had flipped. It felt like it. It's time to move forward from a situation. Okay, and you're not walking by yourself. This also gives me the energy. I forgot who had this yesterday. I can't remember. I can't remember, y'all, if it was like, Sagittarius or Aries. You may have Aries or Sagittarius in your birth chart. I can't remember who it was, y'all, but it's it's you may have to go check out the fire sign. You know, you can have fire definitely highly aspected in your birth chart, like as your sun, as your moon sign, as your as your rising sign, or as your Venus. But Jesus is carrying you. Okay, for the people that do believe in Jesus, because I know not everybody believes in, in God or in Jesus. You know, you, you may just, whatever, I just have to say that. But it's something about, because I was picking up on that energy, it's something about if you do believe in Jesus Christ, Jesus is carrying you away from a situation. And it, it can be very difficult, which is why you're being carried. Something about you may not have had the strength to leave something alone. You may not have wanted to leave something, something alone. You may not have wanted to go in a new direction. So Jesus is literally carrying you and, and moving you forward. Because it's time to move on. Okay, two, three, four on the timer. As I said, this is time to regroup. It's time to move forward. Yeah, look at this. You also have observed us here. Okay, you could be observing things from an, a different perspective. Libra is here as well with blossom energy. I believe Libra got this energy. You could be, you could be pregnant. You could have gotten someone pregnant. I'm seeing here. Okay, definitely fire energy and you being able to co-create with God or create the life that you want for yourself, which you are creating at this time if you see it's turning into things into the actual like 3d world so whatever you're manifesting whatever you're trying to co-create it's 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 cultivating it's it's growing it's blossoming okay literally you could also be a teacher or you may need to teach people you could be a teacher okay you are also being highly observed at this time people are watching you for something that you are doing okay this one is to come out in the reverse but i'm gonna take it in the upright okay I see why I wanted to come out in the reverse. You guys need to be having a hard time that you having belief in yourself that you're going to succeed. And it could be because you're in a period or a chapter of your life where you could be extremely sad or you could be isolated at this time. But this is getting ready to change. Okay. It's something about broken. It's something about you guys may be feeling broken or broken down. God is break. God is breaking out, breaking chains from you. And it could hurt. It's like growing pains hurt. This is also like God having to strip you of things that you may have gotten with the enemy or gotten out of being like a low vibrational energy. 404 on the timer, as I said, this that angel number could be significant. 404 could be significant. It's something about you having, God is not going to let you keep things that you may have gotten by doing manipulative things or by being dark or, you know, by, by not working, you know, with the kingdom of light. He is going to strip you of those things so he can give you the blessings that is with him. That's not being blessed. Like, is someone here that got a lot of blessings by down below? Like, you were getting blessed by down below, okay? And I don't mean to say it this way, but I'm hearing it. So it's like now things could be getting moved out of your life. You could be feeling like you are losing things and you're not. It's God removing those things so that he can bless you with what is what for you, okay? And it could bring in some type of sadness or isolation to you, but it's not meant to. Yeah, look at this. It's time for you to really hear those messages from your crown chakra. God is communicating with you directly. It's time for you to wa wash your hair if you haven't washed your hair, okay? It's time for you to 
because you need to be able to connect to up above. I'm hearing here as well because it's time for you to master something. You have mastered something. Scorpio energy is popping out. Okay, you you have learned certain lessons in regards to your heart, safeguarding your heart, your soul, your energy, your most purest energy, your soul. Okay, the strong like you as an essence, your aura. You're now safeguarding your heart space. You are also being more you know, in tune with what you are manifesting or what you are trying to bring into fruition. The number six could be significant. The number three, six, six is here as well. 67, 76, 37, 36, 63, 73 could be significant. I'm also seeing here June could be significant, March or July. Any of these months or days could be significant. The seventh, the sixth, the third, the sixth. Okay. Anything else that Taurus needs to know in regards to their life? Taurus, this came out in the reverse. You could have a lack of trust at this time because of this ending that's taking place. But this death part, this, this death is going to happen. This ending is going to happen. It's meant to. This could even be an ending to some type of soulmate energy. You could have felt like somebody was a soulmate. Okay, it's time for you to call a spade a spade, and it's time for you to go towards, you know, or God wants you to embrace the soulmate that he has for you, okay? But there's most definitely an ending that's taking place here. Yeah, it's time to have boundaries up. You may not want that, okay? It's something about you could have been very free with your energy, or it's time to lay down law. It's time to really, like, safeguard your energy. Why is trust in the reverse, though? You could have a lack of trust at this time. They want you to transmute that energy. Yeah, this is the truth. I'm, I'm serious. Like, I know y'all be like, oh, why am I good? Because I'm hearing it this way. I'm getting the message this way. I can't change the message. Y'all are transmuting energy right now, though. Y'all are shedding old skin. A snake could be significant. You also could be embodying a very healing energy. Or this death has to take place so that you can, you can get to your healing energy. You can heal or so that you can become the healer that you are. You, you may even be a teacher, but you could be going against God's purpose for you. Y'all don't want to do that. You know, if God don't have purpose for you anymore, he calls you home, right? Like, come on now, y'all. Like, <laughs> y'all know that, right? Like, if God doesn't see that you are in purpose or he doesn't see, like, what you're saying, Especially if he feels like you're constantly going against his will and you're causing more harm than good, he will call you home. He will, he will, he will call you home. But transmute, it's time to transmute energy. It's time to regroup and it's time to transmute this energy into something more positive. It's time to turn pain into power. Okay, it's also time to embody a very truthful energy as well. What's this on top? The soulmate. Yeah, you need to be honest with someone who you were with. Or you need to be honest in regards to, like, attracting and going towards the soulmate that God has for you. Or the, yeah, power just popped out, too. It's time for you to turn pain into power. I'm serious. I'm hearing it. 818 on the time as I said this. The spirit guys are very stern. You can have older. They, they feel older. You have like older spirit guides, older guardian angels. They're older and they're very wise. And they're very like, um, I'm not going to say like cutthroat, like, like fighting energy, but they give me like the monk guru energy. And that's even scary. Like, I don't know. It's something about them. Like, I, I don't know. You're, <laughs> I can't even really explain the energy that I'm feeling that's around right now. But it's, uh, they're very strict. Okay, and I just got another. They're very like, they're strict. <laughs> whoever is on the other side, yeah, yeah, people on the other side, <laughs> they're strict. You could be a writer, or you may be like, you may write letters. You could be writing the truth or speaking the truth at this time. This is also like royal energy coming in. Someone here could like be really into Egypt or like. Someone here may like to scribe, may like to write in script, may like to do like the old time writing, like with, you know, the, the feather and the ink. Someone here likes that as well. Scorpio energy with the death card is coming out. But it's something about you needing to get back to an energy of trusting not only in yourself, but in the divine. You could have put trust in people that you weren't supposed to put trust in. And now you could be very nervous about who to trust. But those were lessons that you needed to learn. You're a very powerful individual I'm seeing here as well. Anything else that Taurus needs to know? Yeah, air energy is here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is in. Is, is here. 
Yeah, you need to be cautious and find out more information. So before you give your heart to someone, this air sign, you need to be very cautious. You need to safeguard your heart because someone here is not who they may seem to be. You also could be moving. So either you could have gotten someone pregnant. You could be pregnant at this time. You could have gotten someone pregnant. You could be moving in with someone that's pregnant. Someone here, you could be pregnant. You could be getting ready to move in with someone or you could be moving at this time. Okay, this is also, you could be just moving in general. And when you move, you could be meeting someone who may get you pregnant. Okay, it's, I'm picking up on different, you know, storylines here. But with change of residence, you could be most definitely changing your residence or moving in with your partner. So if either someone is moving in with someone who's pregnant, if you move in with someone, you may get pregnant. Or if you move or you could be in the process of moving, you may meet someone and you may conceive. Or if not, get someone pregnant. That's... <laughs> I know that may have been confusing. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. But with communicate being here, someone here wants to communicate with you or they want to talk to you. This is also someone that could be having a conversation with you, okay, in regards to your health or in regards to their health. And I don't really like that. So somebody here could be talking to you about some type of health issues. So I'm picking up on somebody here and they may be unclean. And they may be, they may have found out and they could be talking to you about some type of issues that they could have found out about or, or that they may have given you. They take it how it resonates here. You most definitely have a guardian angel. And I felt that you have guardian angels that are all around you. 1133 on the timer, as I said this, you, well, you most definitely have a lost loved one that's protecting you, that's keeping you safe. Okay, something could have happened around the retrograde. I believe this was like December to January. Somebody here posted it or November to, I don't think it was that long. It may have been like the, the end of November to January or in the December to January of last year. You guys may need to look up the last retrograde of 2023 and when that when it was. But your guardian angel most definitely wants you to know that they're here and they're helping you. It could be a water sign as well. A Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, that's a guardian angel. I'm also saying here, yeah, just a few more months and you, you're going to get ready to see. You know, you need to get ready because in a few more months, you have a lot of good things that's coming towards you. They just want you to give something time. Okay, give it time, especially in regards to what you're manifesting, because you could be manifesting a commitment with someone, or you want to be serious with someone. They want you to take your time or just give something time. Okay, what else for Taurus? Okay, yeah, Taurus, you are unfazed at this time. You could be in a very unfazed energy I'm seeing here. Yeah, you also have the inside scoop. So somebody here is trying to get a closer look about what's going on with you. They really want to know what's happening with you because you're in this unfazed energy. Or there could be someone unfazed in your life and you could be trying to find out why they're so unfazed. Yeah, somebody here is holding, they have a secret lover or they have a sex addiction, a sex fix. They may like to have sex with this secret lover as well with romantic love affair. Okay, there is someone that is crying over you. If someone here feels like you could have a secret lover or they feel like you're with someone else and they could be crying over you at this time. Yeah, someone here is in their head about you okay they may know that you are someone if ain't shit come out in the reverse <laughs> or, or someone here you, you know you may know that somebody isn't you know somebody here is you know they bowed it they're not shit <laughs> and it's something about that you you may be in your head yeah but you dodged a bullet so you let something go or you could have seen the red flags and you dodged some type of negativity. You escaped a crazy situation or person. And it's like right now you're being protected from your enemies, from your haters. Oh, yeah, this person wants you back. You see how that came out? But whoever this is wants you back. They're in their head. They want you back very, very bad. They're also being haunted. There they go. <laughs> this person is being haunted by memories, by flashbacks, by, you know, different things that you guys could have once done. I'm seeing here. They also have ghosts that are haunting them. So somebody here could be scared at this time. They could be getting visitations from the other side and it could be very scary to them. Yeah, there's also someone that's a divination abuser. Okay, so this person is watching tarot. Somebody, someone here is getting readings done. They're watching tarot. They're going psychic. They're paying for stuff to be done, and it's because they don't have any facts about what's happening. They're making shit up, and they're lying. Somebody here needs to stay. It's like they're doing too much of it. Yeah, they feel like you're traveling. This is also someone that views you as being very creative, and they want to try to steal your creativity. I'm seeing here as well. So be mindful of this individual. Yeah, somebody here is only trying to come in, or they're only trying to connect with you because they want to marry you for money. They feel like you're very wealthy. They feel like you're very put together. They feel like you have wealth, okay? You may dress very nice. You could be very regal. You could have a very, like, 
a good job or career that is affording you a certain type of lifestyle to live and they want to come in with a dirty offer. This person is getting ready to go through something that's going to really make them reflect or they see you as someone who reflects. Virgo energy is here as well because I saw that meditation and I saw those beads. So you could have Virgo in your birth chart. You could be connecting to a Virgo. But someone here sees you as like guru energy. You could be the type of person that meditate, that prays a lot. You could be very spiritual. You may burn your sage. You got the singing bowl here, the sound bowl. You do something gray because you may wear a lot of gray or white or light colors. Okay, you could also be like a hippie for someone here, but I'm picking up, you may also wear like those, the beads, okay, protection jewelry, but it's something about you being very peaceful, you being very chill, you being very relaxed, and someone here wanting to disturb your peace. They even feel like they have evidence, or you have evidence about this individual, so you already know who this individual is for someone here. Yeah, this is also someone that's always partying, they're always going out, and they may like their parties with the three of cups. This is someone that's researching you. And they're trying to get information on you, okay, on what you're doing, on who you're partying with, who you're having fun with, who you're, who you're sleeping with. What are you doing in your life? What are you celebrating? What else does Taurus need to know? Yeah, there's a new beginning that's coming in. Scorpio energy is here. Ooh, with the devil. Somebody here is stuck in the past. They're, or they're obsessing over a renewal. This could be a Capricorn or Aries Leo or Sagittarius with that Ace of Wands. Libra is also here with the justice card. Somebody here could be going through some type of legal matters as well. Somebody here is obsessed with the renewal with you. They feel like they have learned their lesson. Somebody here is like, they could have been with some dark things, okay? They could have like been around some dark demons. And somebody here is like, they have learned their lesson with the judgment card. Somebody here is act, or they're going to act like they, I'm here and act. They're going to act like they have learned their lesson with the judgment card. You have went through some type of spiritual renewal or transformation. And it's like now you're able to identify, you know, dark energy. I'm also seeing here, this is Archangel Gabriel coming through and blowing the trumpet because God has made a final decision or judgment in your life. Or you have made a final, you know, decision or judgment in your life. It's time, you know, to embrace God's plan, God's, you know, God's call with open arms, with an open and pure heart. Archangel Gabriel is blowing the trumpet. Yeah, it's time to choose somebody else. Lover's card. It's time to choose another lover. God is saying, like, it's time to get into a, a truly divine and healthy relationship. I'm seeing here. It's time to take that leap of faith that's, that's sticking out. Aquarius energy is here with the full card. It's time to take some type of leap of faith. Gemini is here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, heavy Scorpio energy. It's time for you to take a leap of faith towards pure love with the lover's card. You can most definitely be in a relationship at this time with someone. It could have different options coming in or could be wanting to be with someone else. With the, with the lover's card, this is all about being in a current relationship but having options. And it may feel like someone here is going to get like the short end of the stick. Like you may have to drop someone or break up with someone to, to get with someone else. But it's something about you already being bonded to someone or, you know, God is bringing in a soulmate where your soul is going to be able to identify this other individual, okay? And, you know, your soul identifies before the flesh, which is why a lot of people be like, oh, why are you into that person? Why are you into that person? Because the soul recognizes the soul, okay? So it's something about that as well. Yeah, the moon card is here. Cancer energy is here as well. Yeah, somebody here is very fearful of you laying something to rest. They're very heartbroken. This could be a Libra. Or, or there's going to be a breakup that's taking place. Somebody here is very fearful. They could have been trying to keep you in spiritual darkness or in illusions. This is also someone that knows that once you lay something to rest, the karma comes. So you could be protecting someone by being in their energy. And God is like, listen, I'm trying to give somebody karma. It's time to move out the way, Taurus. Okay, cancer energy is here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, what's this moon? But there's a lot of secrets in regards to a situation or in regards to a person, which is why it's time to heal. Yeah. This is the star. Somebody here was very, very hopeful that they were going to continue to be able to keep you in some type of dark energy or, you know, illusion with the moon. They felt like they were going to be able to, like, love bomb you or come in with some type of love. Yeah, to confuse you. Somebody here was all about, like, hmm. They even could have been doing something around the moon. What's the star? You could be a star. You may get a lot of attention. Okay, you're stepping into your authentic energy. This is also a situation that's going to bring you a renewal in regards to your faith and your religious beliefs yeah somebody was really determined we're very 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 determined to play dirty to cause a separation between two people for someone here somebody here was lying deceiving saying anything they need to say to lie to manipulate to, mm -mm. somebody here is very dark with the moon this could be a cancer or air sign and they didn't realize how protected you are 
with the temperance angel, you have a covering of protection over you. Yeah, somebody here was making it very difficult for you to understand that you could do it by yourself. The Ten of Wands to the Nine of Pentacles. You'll get more blessings, more favor, more money, more progress moving forward, doing things by yourself. Somebody here didn't want you to realize that. They wanted to play on your intelligence with the Queen of Swords, or they could have tried to set themselves up to appear like they are trustworthy or that you, they're listening to you, that they're a helping hand, but they are not. They were in opposition, and this could even have been a Libra. Yeah, the Page of Cups in the reverse. This person is most definitely stressed out over you, Taurus, but the Page of Cups in the reverse, uh -uh. You're not. You're being led to not touch this person with a, a ten foot pole. Page of Cups in the reverse. This person has childhood wounds and issues that they have not healed at all. Somebody here lacks the ability to to truly love at this time because they feel like they never got love, not even as a child. With the Page of Cups, this is a very sad energy. Somebody here is extremely manipulative, extremely childish, extremely close off in regards to having real love, being empathetic, and being empathetic trusting in their intuition with the page of cups someone here it could be a grown adult but they have the mentality or the energy of a child with the page of cups in the reverse somebody also tells vicious lies they also tell a lot of white lies okay but it, 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 it it's not even really a white lie. It, it's a huge lies like somebody here tells huge lies they also like to play victim with the page of cups in the reverse my goodness yeah it's time to just walk away like spirit is saying it's no Forgiving this is to you know trying to make something work. The judgment call is to leave it alone. You have better, you deserve better, you're going to receive better. Someone here could even have been making you feel guilty, or you could be feeling guilty or having sadness over having to leave, but you know that this is the right decision for you in your life because somebody's causing more damage than good. Okay, and it's not gonna bring you any type of happiness if you stay. Okay, with the four of cups, it's time to reject. It's something about you being discontent and it's it will become worse. Okay, yeah. It's like it's it's something about if you stay, if you continue to manifest, it will you'll be receiving more rejections. The four of cups. Someone being in your energy causes you a lot of rejections or hardships with the ten of wands. Forty four could be significant as well. Okay. Yeah, the nine of oh my gosh. Somebody here, yeah, it's time to get out of your head, Empress or Emperor. It's time, no more stress, no more crying, no more not understanding what's going on in your life. No no more of constantly dealing with delays or blockages or hardships that other people are putting on you by negatively influencing you or by you accepting it because you have such a big heart. It's no more of that with the Empress. It's time for you to choose you. Self-love, it's time for you to truly give that love to you, Taurus. Okay, anything else that Taurus needs to know? Libra is also coming out. What else does Taurus need to know? Taurus, yeah, somebody here is preparing. Okay, you could be preparing to get your dream home for someone here. You could be getting ready to move or you're you're getting ready to get into a, a, a nicer home. Be mindful because somebody here, they're dealing with, you know, big, big, big stuff. The feds are coming for someone. Okay, someone here is getting ready to go down in regards to like, oh man. It's spirit is saying stay away. They're they're trying to protect you from a very heavy situation, Taurus. Anything else that Taurus needs to know? Yeah, somebody here is going through a family brawl or conflict at this time. This could be over you, or this could be happening in your family at this time. And it's because God is testing you right now. Okay. The universe is testing you right now. You're also getting ready to meet your person. Yeah, somebody here is just jealous. Okay, they're jealous and they're losing their mind. And this is someone that's an energy vampire. They want to steal and take your energy and your blessings. And this is someone that is surrounded by darkness and they do not care. And they could be wanting to act like, they could be wanting to do things to make you feel like you love them. Okay, this is someone that's in denial or they want you to be in denial. They're also doing voodoo or witchcraft on you. Okay, this is also someone that may have cheated or you could something about cheating cheating is a choice and it's not a mistake and somebody here is still lying if they're like oh you know they're not doing this they are this could be a virgo for someone here my goodness this person is emotionally unavailable they're not going to give you the love that you want yeah and it's time for you to think of a master plan or someone here is going to try to think of a master plan i'm seeing here somebody here definitely did magic and it boomerangs they also could be having their children lying. I'm seeing here, spirit is so ashamed of this person. This is a loony tone. This is someone that's on straight bullshit too. This could also be a Libra for someone here. 
you're about to be 10 steps ahead, Taurus. Okay. And, and if you go back, you are going to be emotionally hurt. Okay. You are. And ancestors are on that ass. Okay, they're coming after people that are coming up against you, but it's like it's something about if you go back, you're gonna get the brunt of it. You will get, the, yeah. This is also someone that you know is trying to make a clone of you, or they're trying to like go towards people that are very fake, very phony. There's something about trying to emulate you. Yeah, this person is getting karma for generations. This could also be someone that could have treated you like a maid, or they look at you as a maid. So be mindful of that as well. Virgo got that same energy. Okay, you guys may need to go check out the Virgo reading to have Virgo in your birth chart. You could be connecting to a Virgo. Anything else for Taurus? Okay, the letter E could be significant. Aquarius is in your energy as well. The letter E is here. Also, Scorpio is here. You could be connecting to a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your birth chart. Yeah, the mind games fail with someone or the mind games will be failing for someone in one week. Okay, you are the one and they were about to lose you for good, I'm seeing here. There's money schemes that someone is doing. This is a drama starter that has childhood trauma. Okay, someone here could also be trying to use their, their BDE to get you or someone here has BDE, okay? Somebody here could like to use sex. You also have no more delays, no more holdups, no more blockages, Taurus. This card is stuck to something. Yeah, somebody's about to pop up like magic in your life. This could be in the next 48 hours. For someone here, this could be a fire sign. Uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that could be getting ready to reach out to you. So be mindful of that as well. Yeah, you have an unexpected message or phone call coming in. The letter L could be significant. Be mindful because this is someone that wants to put you under a love spell. Okay, the spiritual realm loves and protects you and is keeping you away from someone that's going through bad karma. This could be an earth sign or this is about you. Okay, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Yeah, you're about to meet your twin flame if you haven't met them already. Job well done. I'm seeing here, this could be about your twin flame. Yeah, this was a group effort to try to do this or to try to stop this. Okay, you mean everything to someone or you're about to mean everything to someone. I'm seeing here. Anything else for Taurus? Somebody here is about to have a fall from grace. Yeah, you also have it around the full moon. There's getting ready to be different things happening. Something could also be happening on Friday, but something could be happening around the full moon. I'm seeing here. Yeah, and you also could be getting some type of unexpected money or raise that could be coming in. You also have five, five, five major life changes that are on the way. It's time for you to embrace the new and let go of the old. You most definitely could be holding on to an air sign. Okay, and this is a karmic that's jealous of you, and there's a karmic individual that is jealous of you. All right, Taurus, I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always, and I'll be seeing you on the next video.